Get ready with me to go get my Brazilian wax. If there's something that I wanted to do within the past year, it was conquer my skincare, and I so did. I have been getting Brazilian waxes. I've been doing my skincare on my face. I've been exfoliating my body, and it's really transformed. I'm really excited to go, but people keep complimenting my skin, and I'm so like flattered by that so i thought i would bring you along today with me doing my morning skincare routine ignore this i picked a little bit the biggest thing is to not pick but sometimes if it's just out there you have to you have to i did a ton of research and perfected my skincare i had a little bit of knowledge because i have some background working with skin as a nurse um but let's get started so first off i just go in with my um topical acne solution i really don't think that it's doing much i'm gonna quit them soon i'm gonna start phasing out i've been using them since i was like 15 14 years old and they quit like doing anything honestly like a year ago is when i noticed my skin was so bad here's a picture <laughs> to get like bullied on here over my skin it really hurt my feelings but it made me stronger because then I was like, let's figure this out and let's get it to looking better. I don't know if this is doing anything. I saw it at Target and I had to have it. It's the Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution. I did not put this in my Amazon storefront for my skincare, which you can find on my link tree. But I don't know. I'm not really sold on it, but I'm going to use it up until it's gone because I paid for it. It wasn't even that expensive. This is my favorite vitamin C serum because I've used like full vitamin C serums where it's just like straight up vitamin C and it clogs my pores. This one has tripeptide and collagen protecting serum. So it's more of a serum and not just like a vitamin C in a dropper. Um, and it also like vitamin C would stain my skin orange. I think people react differently to stuff. Straight up vitamin C did not work for me, but this I really think has dulled my acne scars i really had a lot here and they're gone and i've been using vitamin c for a while now for a whole year and i've tried various brands but i think i'm gonna skip stick with this one i tried the um glow recipe it was way too expensive and then like the applicator is curved so when i got to the bottom of the pot i couldn't hardly get anything out so i was having to shake it and i was getting way too much product we'll never use glow recipe again Next in, we're gonna go with Clinique. My mama put me on this shit a long time ago. I used to sneak to her bathroom just to use it because it was so good. It makes my skin feel luscious. Put it all over, even on your neck, honey. I feel like my skin just had a big drink of water and it's amazing. Okay, I've been using these since I went to the dermatologist over a year ago for my flare-up that I showed y'all. Um, this is the Eucerin. I'm going to be ordering this when I run out of the samples, which I'm about to. Uh, so I would definitely um, check this out. It's in my link tree on my Amazon storefront for skincare. It's at the bottom of my link tree. If you're interested in any of these products, it's all found there. So now I'm going to go to my Brazilian wax. The bush needs whacked. That's the only thing about these waxes is that, yeah, it's like always smooth, never ingrown hairs or anything. But I have to wait a month to get it done again. So by the end of the month, she's grown. And she does not need to be in a bathing suit. So my, my waxer always says to you, like, how long has it been? And I'm like, it's been four weeks. And she's like, oh, wow. And I'm like, yeah, I'm hairy. I'm going to get my eyebrows waxed too because I don't want to pluck them. I don't know if you can tell, but there's tons of hairs. This camera cannot pick them up, but tons of hairs. But like, look, this sunscreen gives me such a glow. I love it. Ugh! And then like, I don't even wear that much foundation anymore. Like I wear it for special occasions, but honestly, I feel like I look better without it. I just do some concealer and I do a little bit on my cheeks and like a couple of dashes up here. And then I put some flawless filter on if I'm feeling really fancy. And that's it. And I look like I have glass skin. I don't know. I think y'all need to do this. I have like regular skin. It's not super oily, not super dry. Um, normal, regular, who knows what that actually is. But um, yeah, I don't have like super oily or super dry skin. So I'm like, um, euthymic, I don't know. Bye. <laughs> 